like what I ended in my uh, previous uh, video. I'm going to discuss this in this series of videos, I guess. Algebraic expansion and factorization. And I said that we're going to use everything that we have learned in expansion and factorization. Like, for example, if we have uh, b plus c in a parenthesis multiplied by a, then we have to, to multiply a to both terms, as you have learned. And if you have binomials, multiplication of binomials, then we have you have to multiply a to both terms and then b to both terms also. And then if we have the sum and difference of two binomials, then we have the difference of two squares as a product. And if you if you factorize this, this one. So and the square of a binomial, this is the product. And if you factorize as perfect square binomial, then this is the factor. And the difference of the square of binomials, when it is plus and minus, then this is the only difference. It's a quicker view. Okay, let's take some example here. Expand and simplify, it says there. That means we're going to multiply x raised to negative one half to all of the terms. Let's do that. Then we have x raised to negative one half multiplied by x raised to 3 divided by 2. And then plus x raised to negative 1 half multiplied by 2x raised to 1 half. Subtracted by x raised to negative 1 half multiplied by 3x raised to negative 1 half. Okay? Then we're going to start with this. The product of this one now is x raised to negative one half plus raised to plus raised a uh, three divided by two because it is a multiplication and they have the same base. So we add the exponent. Okay, the product of this one uh, plus have two x raised to negative one half plus one half. And the third we have minus three x raised to negative one half plus negative one half. Simplify we have 3 halves minus half, that is raised to 2 divided by 2, plus 2x raised to 0, that is here already, minus 3x raised to negative 2 divided by 2. So we have x raised to 1, or that is, uh, we don't write 1 there, and then 2 times 1. 2 times 1. This one will become 1. So I wrote 1 there. And then we have negative 3 rate x raised to negative 1. x raised to negative 1. So negative 1 you need to write, but not 1. So we have x plus 2 subtracted by 3 divided by x. That is the simplified form. Or I guess you can also simplify this way, x plus 2 minus 3x raised to 1, raised to minus 1. But many of my teachers and my professors doesn't accept negative 1, negative exponents. So I, I suggest that you need to simplify, the, simplify this way. Okay, another expand and simplify, and we have to multiply the first term to the sec to the to both terms of the second uh, um, binomial. So we have two x raised to x. No, sorry for that. It should be two raised to x 
multiplied by 2 raised to x, added by 1 times 2 raised to x. Plus this one now, 3 times 2 raised to x plus 1 times 3, or 3 times 1, doesn't matter. Simplify 2 raised to x plus x plus 2 raised to x plus 3 multiplied by 2 raised to x plus 3. So this one now is 2 raised to 2x. As you, can see, as you can see here, we have 1, 2, x, 2 raised to x there, and 2 raised to x there. If I can put here now, this is also the same, 1 times there. That means I have 1 hole there, and, yeah, and I have 3 hole there. That means if I add them, then I have 4 multiplied by 2 raised to x plus 3. Then I have 2 raised to 2x plus 4 multiplied by 2x plus 3. It depends upon your teachers um, how, how strict is your teacher in simplifying. Then if, if this is not enough, then you can do this, 2 raised to 2x is the same as 2 raised to 2 raised to x. I hope you remember that. Then we have 4 raised to x. So this one, this one is the same as 4 raised to x. And then the middle term, we have 4 times 2 raised to x. 4 is the same as 2 raised to 2 multiplied by 2 raised to x. Then we have 2 raised to 2 plus x. Then I can put that also that way. Plus 2 raised to 2 plus x plus 3. So that's, that's simplified. Let's see for b, that is a square of binomial. Then we have for b, that is a square of the binomial. I guess I need another pen. Uh, let's take red for b. Square of binomial. We have the square of the first term. Then we have 7 raised to x raised to 2 plus... 2 times the product of the first term and the second term, 7 raised to x, multiplied by 7 raised to negative x. And the third term is the square of the last term, 7 minus 7 raised to negative x raised to 2, or the square of that. Okay, if you don't remember, it's here the square of a binomial here, plus 2ab plus b squared, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. That is what I did. Okay, simplify, then we have 7 raised to 2x plus 2 times 7 raised to x plus negative x plus 7 raised to negative 2x. Then we have, if we simplify this, it, it will look like this, 7 raised to 2 raised to x plus 2 times 7 raised to 0 plus 7 raised to 2 raised to negative x. So we have 49 raised to x plus 2 plus, this is equal to 1, so we have 
2 there plus 49 raised to negative x. So we have 49 raised to x plus 2 plus 1 divided by 49 raised to x. Uh, next video will be about factorization and other things. So stay tuned.